page tough cook sein. Let's. I think we already went to. Wait, you went to further? No. Oh yeah, yeah, right, right, right. Still holding? Yeah, we got it. Okay, let's first hazard over outside what we learned. There is a malacha of Boina. Now to build in the Mishkan. That's what it was the Av malacha in the Mishkan. Every Av in the Mishkan has told us that we learn out from the Av. They're also awesome in Hatoy. One is not allowed to make an oil va, a permanent oil. That's also considered. That's considered a told of Boina. It's also minatory. The Maisa Chazal answered making even an oil aray, a temporary oil, because you can come to make an oil kva, which is also minatory. I told the boy. Now, we said like this we said an oil aray means any time, even if there's no mechitas underneath it, even if there's no walls underneath it, I put up something to protect me from the rain or from the heat, it should be a protects the, something which is underneath it, it's considered an oil, even if there are mechitas, it just has sticks holding it up, it doesn't have proper walls. Yeah, we'll talk about a chuppah mitzvah later, but uh, now, However, we said, if one had the oil array was open, a tefach before Shabbos, let's say you had a mat, and the mat was uh, open a little bit, a tefach, then I could moisif on it more and pull it out, open, stretch out, open the rest. And I can even take another mat from somewhere else and add it on because I already had a tefach open. Now this tefach, is not the part that's rolled up. It has to be actually unrolled a tefach, which is like a fist. And that's called teisefes oil. Teisefes oil, you're allowed to make on Shabbos. You're only not allowed to make an oil l'chatchila on Shabbos. The whole thing is only exeros chachamim. Chachamim only goes there when it seems like you're making an oil. But when it looks like I didn't create an oil, I'm just adding to a pre-existing oil, then they were not concerned that this will bring you to make an actual oil kva, or permanent oil. The other place it talks about what does it mean permanent. You know, how does it mean seven days, 30 days, how long will the structure be considered permanent oil kva, and then it will be oser min But an oil array, which is oser min banon, is the only usher if it wasn't stretched out. By how much? A tefach. A tefach is the minimum a shear for an oil. So if you stretched it out, let's say the mat, you had a mat on top, sitting on top of uh, some, bo- uh, some uh, structure, and you want to pull out the mat and, and, and uh, over you. If it's open, one tefach, and on Shabbos I'm allowed to unroll the entire mat, I'm even allowed to add other mats to it, because I already had a tefach open, so it's called teisefes oil. Teisefes oil means I didn't create an oil, I'm just adding on to pre-existing oil from Arab Shabbos. Remember in some of the Rebbe Sukkah, they had like a, an Israeli shlak, where the shlak was like straight, oh, and, a little bit, and a little bit to the right. Remember this? The Maise is that's, that's, not a, that's not considered oil. In Hilcha Sukkah, I'll tell you why it's not a problem with oil. Really, you already have an oil. Oh, you already have an oil. You already have the schach there. When you already have the schach, you're not doing anything. You have the schach there already. It's like a tisafas oil. Yeah, it's like a tisafas oil. It's not exactly because what you want it for, it's nothing. The schach, what you want it for. It's not so posh. What's the reason why? Although, but Emma's really the schach also is an oil for for mine. Just it eventually ends. So, you know, it's, uh, especially if you put on a lot of schach, like whatever. You know how to put schach on the altar? 
No, but what I'm saying is that the letter sucks. Like, Shabbat, why do you have so much car? That's what I'm saying. And without a door, the normal guy the gets, gets water morning. after 30 seconds. Right. Another guy can get water after five, five minutes. Now, fine. But I'm saying the schach itself is a mechitza. It's a... Right, I know. Well, yeah, I'm so putting up schach... Putting up the schach itself is a problem of um, making it oil. Making it oil. An oil aray, making an oil aray, oil medirabani, you know how to make it. So you, that's why if someone needed to, let's say you have a wind, and the wind blew down the schach, which happens sometimes on Sukkis, so you can ask a goy to put it on because it's shvos to shvos. You're asking a goy to do something which is only medirabani. Allah is you're allowed to ask the guy to do a malach which is a button for you if it's a tzarech mitzvah. You need a tzarech mitzvah and you send the sukkah. It's also a shat. It's also a tzarech gadol. You need to eat your meat. You're not, you're not yeah, to eat. Meat. Yeah, so you can have a guy do that for you. Okay. Well, my by the, by the shlak is another reason to be matter. Which is we have to understand more. Is that things which are meant are made as part of the, the thing which open and close and not necessarily a problem. Right. Things are built in, built into it, like a door or a window is built in. That's the way it's part of it. So you open and close it. Exactly. It's already opening or uh, whatever. This is something that has to be clarified, exactly. The door and the window for themselves are not a problem because it's a mechitza, it's not oil. And remember, mechitz is only usur, like we'll say in a minute, when it actually making a, making a rishos. Right. So yeah. So so let's go to that. So that's been a oil. What's about regarding a mechitza? So mechitza, we said that the only type there are different types of mechitzas. The only mechitza that will be usur will be a mechitza that you're using in order to divide the room into separate Rishuyas. For example, in order to make a, build a sukkah. Yeah, in order to make a sukkah, or to make something into a Rishus Hayachid. So you're actually creating another Rishus. So by building the Mechitza, you're building something. That type of Mechitza is Chazal also answer it because it's similar to the concept of an oil. So they also answer such a type of mechitza. Have a regular mechitza in shuls. And you put up a mechitza at the Davin, or for the Kiddush, for the Drasha, or for just because you want some privacy. But it's not accomplishing a separation of Rishuyis. It's not a problem to make such a mechitza on Shabbos. It's a mechitza. An oil, aray, it's awesome. But for mechitza, even if this mechitza is here to protect you, let's say from wind, or from the heat or the cold, the rain, but it's a mechitza, it's not on top, it's on the side, it's not awesome. Only in a case of mechitza is dividing the room, halachically dividing the room to separate domains, then, then it will be an iser of oil. Correct, but it would making. fall under the category of the Isser of oil. Opinion. Opinion. Yeah, the whole thing of oil is opinion. The whole thing of oil is opinion. Why do you have to say oil? It's a different topic. Why don't we just say it's, 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 it's the same it's thing. thing. The Lashon and Reza Ka'is to oil, it means it falls in the category of, 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 of the Rabbana of being. Not to be. Even though it's not all opinion. The whole thing is Boyne is Avalon. Boyne is Avalon. If someone makes an oil array, even if it's not a bias, but it's an oil, you just put a, a, a permanent, an oil kvap, permanent roof on top of you, even though it's not a full binion, a full house, you just made a roof on top of you, that's also, also min ha as a tulda point. Chazal went further and said, we are going to answer an oil array, and also certain types of mechitzes, which we feel these are very similar getting you close to the concept of being. All right, so don't Which put, type you of can't put on a guard though. Why? Just making, a, making a separation of shoes. <laughs> so the mice are beautiful like this. You make a mechitz, right? It's it's not a gosh mystic mechitz because anyone can go through it. Oh, wait, wait, one minute. Good question. So, so let's recap. What does that mean? You, just, it's like that, you make it a different shoes, not a different shoes. Oh. 
you're, you're making a, Let's uh, say there a marginal are, thing so people can't see in. So you can't put down the blinds on his window. Let's say there are four types of mechitzas. There are four types of levels of mechitzas. Only the fourth level is usur. Let's talk from the lowest level. And the lowest level mechitza, which is most pasha that it's mutter, is a mechitza which someone just uses for tsnias, meaning he just wants privacy. You want privacy, so you put a curtain around. No problem with that. As well, a mechitza in a shul, mechitza by a drasha, like we learned, is not a problem. Why? Another level. Why? Why isn't it a problem? Because you, you're, you're not building. You're not building. You just want to have a. You just. You just want to have a separation. So the mice. You don't want to see into the lady section. I'm not. Fine. So you're blocking your eyesight. Right. But you're not building. Not building. You're not building. You want to look from a chitza, which is similar to building. Well, I mean, look. You can put up a sukkah so that you can't see your neighbor's backyard. Listen, it's with Rabbanon. Oh, we'll see soon. A mechitza skva, you make a, a permanent structure as a mechitza. That's also, no matter what your kavan is. We'll see soon about that in the show. That's also a mechitza skva. But if the mechitza aray, then it's subject, not all mechitzas arays are, 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 are created equal. So a mechitza which is just for tzniyas, either tzniyas because you want privacy, or tzniyas, halachic tzniyas, the shul is not us to make on shabbos to put it up. You can put a, a, a curtain. Or you can put up also. You can even put up a mechitza which is here to protect you, protect you from sun, sun, the wind. But it's from the side. It's not on top. You're allowed to make that on shabbos. But the oil, as it's on top of you as an oil a gag, it's us to make such a. That's an oil ari chazal. But on the side, it's not us. Now, even a third level, if you make a mechitza which actually has a halachic effect, that it's, it may, it's matter and iser, it still would not be usr to make in Shabbos. For example, let's say the mechitza, you need the mechitza because there is a candle in the room. The din is also l'shamesh mitase bifnei or haner. You're not allowed. So you can put up a mechitza in front of the candle. Now, you are being matir in Isser. There's an Isser here, and you're making a hat with the Mechitz. Still in all, this Mechitz is also motor to make on Shabbos. The fourth level of Mechitz... How do we know if we can make that also? There was an, uh, there is an Isser to Misham HaShemitah, so... So what's that? Before, or Fnei or Erenera. So this room is an Erenera. It's on Shabbos. You can't move the Erenera out. And this is your, your bedroom. So you have a choice. You can hang up a curtain. What's that? I made a mechitza. Oh, so you're saying if, so this mechitza if you just put a, 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 a towel, right? that's not a mechitza. You're saying if you built a mechitza for it. No, no, no. We're talking about, let's say you put a curtain, not a cur- or, oh, or even a board. You picked up, put up a board. Put up a board. No problem. Because... Now, how do we think that that's it's also because you're being matter? You're being matter. Yes, yes, or you're, because you're making your a mechitza. Your mechitza has more of an effect. It's doing something. Because no one will have them in it. The point is that all of these three are, are motor. The only type of mechitza which is asr, that's most similar to the concept that you're actually accomplishing something, is a mechitza that has halachically the ability to separate the room into separate shuyas, separate domains. Like we spoke last week. Even if week, it's just for a few hours. Even if it's for a few hours. Like it's like oil arays asr midrabon and mechitza arays asr midrabon. This type of mechitza asr. Before though, for example, you want to make your sukkah. A sukkah needs to have at least three walls according to the halachic to be kasha. Mm-hmm. you should do four. But the average good three. Some people have only three. So a maisa, you put a third wall to your sukkah also to make that on Shabbos. It's also to make that on Shabbos. That's what you should make a mamash sukkah now. It's an aray. It's a mechitas aray. It's not here for permanent. Why? Why is it alright? You want it the whole yard? For right? well, it's, it's, it's not. It's not. It's alright. Oh. We have to understand well, about sukkahs. Right. Right. So the ma'ase is. It's also mitirabana because the mechitza actually accomplishes something. It actually does like a like a binyan. It actually does something. Right. So it that, makes it builds your sukkah. So that's not even a mechitza. That's already binyan. So outside the sukkah, it's us. It, it, it is a separate rishos. So since this mechitza has the koya to make us a separate rishos, this mechitza now learning. As well, a mechitza on Shabbos, you have a Rosh Hashanah Let's say, for example, 
you have so three. Mobile, you're mobile. You're missing those right, you need to make a mechitza. So you put up a mechitza. You stand a mechitza. So this area was also to carry. And now you put a mechitza, you made it into a shasayachit. So you made what's called chilek rishuyi. So you mechalek this rishos. For this rishos, you divide it and separate it. You made a separate rishos. You actually really accomplished. You built a separate area. When you build a separate area, that type of mechitzas aray is also in the Rabban. So not an, an oil aray, all types of oil arays are also. But mechitzas aray, only this type is also. There's a third type of mechitza which divides domains. Third type. Shabbos, sukkah. Third type is where you have svarim in a room. No. Because you don't need physically, that, you don't need that Allah the woman should be in a separate rishos. Oh, so it's not Just a can't problem. see. Oh, Just so only not, see. So it's not a problem. No problem. Oh. Mechitza metatsnias or metatshul is not a problem. Not a problem. I thought you said it was before. No, no. Mechitza that separates from shuyas, you mean Only by a legabi of mavuyas. Shabbos and sukkah. Because so, yeah. it halachically it makes it a separate shuyas. A mechitza and shul, just a kind right. we shouldn't be able to right. see. It. It's the same shuyas. But it's only the rabbanon, right? It's all shuyas ayachid. A mav for a sukkah. It's all the rabbanon. It's all the rabbanon. Even though it's all sukkah Aray. is mamish a binyan. It's Aray. It's a binyan Aray. Right, but. If it's going to be there to last you for a could, while. No, but if you, made it, if you started taking a hammer and nails and you build a sukkah, right? So you can't say because it's alright, so it's not binyan. It's binyan. It's binyan. So why over here, when I'm adding a wall to a sukkah, is it not? Oh, the chala will see there, right? soon. Why is it not binyan? No, no, no. Right? We'll see soon. Mechitzas kva, a mechitzas kva is much more serious. What is a mechitzas arif? Oh, where you didn't nail it in, you just hung it up. You just st- stood it up. Oh, I, I'm not sure about the nails. Oh, it's I'm not, not sure about the nails. Oh, it's it's nails might be only awesome to the right. bottom of the oh, nails. Saying, nails it's, not, not, it's not having me that you're using nails in your chops. That's not the having You must, yeah. must be doing that where you, Even you, if you stun it nail. up and it's, and it's royal yeah, and lava. You flicked it, it in. Yeah. It oh, very important. The chlal, for, for these cases, in order to create chilek rishoyis, the type of mechitza is not the regular mechitza. It's not the same mechitza, the shul mechitza, or the mechitza you need to put up in front of a candle. In those situations, it's just that I shouldn't see the, the woman or see the candle. It's not, it's not, I don't need to create a separate rishos. When I need to create a separate rishos, I need to make sure that that mechitza is a sturdy mechitza. It's not going to be able to be blown by a ruach metsuya, normal, <laughs> an air, a normal wind. As well, it has to be at least 10 tfachim high. You need those two um, conditions. So, Lamaisa. How much is 10 Tvachim? 10 Tvachim. Is that the. It's about it's 4 inches in a Tefat. So it's 40 inches, about 3 and a half. It's about 3 feet and 4 inches. That's You can look it up, exact shear. Lamaisa. You say Tefat is this much, right? So it's about two and a half inches per tefa. No, that's much shorter. That's much shorter. Two and a half, half inches times. I don't remember the exact. I think yeah. it's nine and a half inches per. Not per tefa. Three tefach. Oh. So if we do nine and a half and nine and a half, it's nineteen. And plus even another tefa, which is three something, uh, close to two feet. Uh, close to two feet. We can take a look. The back, back of the Kitzur Shulchan Aruch has a, a diagram of all this year. Well, Maisa, so there's a chiluk. When you want to make a real mechitza, it has conditions. And we spoke last week, and that's why actually, that's one of the issues we one time spoke here about sukkahs which are made of canvas or curtains, because some of them are blow with the wind, the, and the so they have to be tied down tight. You don't you can't have them blowing like a sail. That's not a mechitza. Mechitza has to be tied taut. That's why it's better for MS not to use ureas. But if one does need to use it, one should make sure it's tied tight. Then it will have the status of mechitza. That's one of the issues with these pop-up sukkahs, which are so flimsy, you give a little put a little push of your finger, the whole thing goes down. So the maisa that's not oimid in a ruach matsuya. Therefore, yeah. A lot of people don't bother to read the instructions, but I think there are instructions, those that give the hashkoch on this, that actually tell you you have to make sure 
to tie it down where you are and make sure that everything can't move. But mice, if you're just sitting in this thing and it's just bouncing around, it's not considered a mechitza. <laughs> no one could see you in there, but it's not a mechitza, you know? When you sit inside, then it's not a... Right. But what happens if the entire structure of the bat of the pop up sukkah with its uh, little straps in there, the whole thing can just fly away and lift away and suya. fall over. No, it's not gonna happen in Ruch Mitsui. It's not happening. Ruch Mitsui doesn't mean necessarily only what you see today. So it means an average wind that comes yeah, on regular not, days. Well, it's not it could be over the past month we had normal winds. The winds that blew, uh, we have some winds today out there, you know. That's not Mitsuya. The sh- Mitsuya, by the way, means also, when it comes to blowing it, according to certain shitas, and should even mash on that way now today, but the strict shitas hold, even if it moves a little bit with the winds, no problem. A little bit. That's, that's very hard. If you want to be makel, you can let it move up to three and sway with the wind. Three tvachim again, how many inches is that? Three inches, it's not a lot. So it could sway, means if you have your, your little thing, can sway more than three inches. So it's not so posh. People don't know that there's, a, there's it's actual not so hitter, there's a big hitter in halacha that the bull should be solid. Yeah, 100%. If someone's bad derech, you're going on a trip somewhere. Right, you have, you you have, have no me, choice. So you have no choice. Good, so even then, you yeah. want to make sure that you tie it down and you do it properly. And by the way, another problem is that you're not allowed to make in a shus. We have no rishus to build a sukkah. It's also to make a sukkah. Because a sukkah has to be your sukkah. It has to be, you can't be characterized. If you're in a park where they allow you to pop up something there, right. it's okay. But if they don't allow you to do it, then you're not allowed to make that sukkah. If you have a sukkah in your car, you can pop it off in your sukkah. In a chanami. And those who have a, a sukkah mobile in the back of their mobile, you're allowed to park and have a new mobile. Exactly. Many parks and rest areas might allow you to pop it up as a small little thing, it's not a big deal. You know, so but these are things thing. that you have to take into consideration. consideration. Now, a mechitza, one more thing. Regarding a mechitza, which separates with shoyas, we, we brought two examples of Shabbos and sukkah. The Altarev, the Shulchan Aruch, gives us a, a third example, which is there's an, also an Isser for someone to be Meshamesh Mitasei before in front of Svarim. It's not respectful in front of Svarim. There are two ways how you could deal with this. That's why you made the Mechitza. If someone in in, has an bedroom with Svarim. But we don't put any Svarim in any bedrooms. That's not the place where you keep Svarim. People get undressed, you get dressed, not respectful. Lamaisa, the place where you what you would do, have two options. One is by a method of base kisuyim, covering it with two covers, not a mechitza. That's just you covering it in two covers as if the swarm are not there. Kis betoich kis. So you put it, but you take two sheets and you throw it over the swarm or over the closet, or over the shaffer, the, the bookshelf, or the, whatever it is. Or you put clothing over them, two layers. That's called Base kisuyim, base kisuyim. That's one method. Now another method, mechitza. What's mechitza? What type of mechitza? This mechitza is not a mechitza where you don't have to see the svarim. It's not about seeing the svarim. It's not enough that you don't see the svarim to be mishamish in the room. The svarim or the svarim or the sefer Torah is not allowed to be in that room. They cannot be in the same room where someone is being mishamish with us. So therefore you have to actually make it in another room. Make it into another room. How do you do that? Put up a mechitza. You ha- what type of mechitza? A sturdy mechitza, a proper mechitza, which is ten tvachim high, like we said, and is uh, ten tvachim high, and it also can't blow with the wind. So you can't just take a little sheet and put it up there, which is not being tied tight, not going to help, even though there's no wind right now in the room. But this is a one that cannot, if it would be somewhere else, it wouldn't be able to stand with the wind. It's problematic. So you have to put up a mechitza, put up a board, put up something in the room, a piece of furniture, which divides the room. And even if you can see the svarim above the mechitza, it's not a problem. Because it's in a different room. It's in a different room. It's like the door is a little open and it's in another room. It's in another room. It's not here in this room. 
Well, if you didn't make it. So that's a third example of a, of a type of mechitza that makes a chilek rishuyas. And anytime you want to be mechalek rishuyas, it has to be a real mechitza. Anytime you're not interested in being mechalek rishuyas, for example, you just want to cover the, the nair from shining, because you're all snana mishama, and you tell us you have a nair. You don't need to make it a separate rishus. All you need to do is that the light shouldn't shine directly on you. So you put up a mechitza. It doesn't have to be a sturdy mechitza. It doesn't have to be a tvachamai. It just has to accomplish that 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 it that it shadows out the light. Yes, I think yeah. being mechalik the rishus per se, because if you only if this is the room, and here's the svarim, and this is only let's say a kefach or a two tvachim, so you've just made the room smaller. You haven't made two different rishus. Good, you made it two different rooms. That's not, different. This is not a room. This farm is now you've just covered this farm. If you you're cover, not making it in a different room. If you room. cover this farm. Then you're going with a hat or a base. Oh, you put a mechitza, whatever you've done. If you put a bit of mechitza, it's a mechitza, and that's in, in like, it's like a little, little room. room. It's a little small it's little just... closet. You made it a little closet. You put it in a closet. It's a planet. You just say you took the swarm out of the room. You put it, a swarm in a closet. A swarm in a closet. Not a problem. Not a problem. Because they're not in that room. That's only my separate show you. It's not, it's also a show say Oh, okay. You divide the domain that this is one area and that's one. That's area. not a problem. No. And so you have two methods of doing it. Either mechitza, which is harder to, to, to do the mechitza. Basically, swimming is much easier. Someone could just, what should someone do? Could take two sheets, two towels, and throw it over the shaft of the swarm. That would be the easiest thing to do. Now, Haga, by the way, I'm just on a side note. There was a discussion about mechitza in a shul. When it comes to mechitza in a shul, What's the reason why we need to have a mechitza in the shul? So, most opinions hold that the mechitza is here in order that you shouldn't. It all goes back to why were the men and women separated in the base hamikdash? We know that when the men and women came together, like by Simchas Beis Hasheiva, the women were up on top and the men were down. Why were they separate? So one mahalach is to say. They are not allowed because they shouldn't see the woman. It wasn't good that the woman and the woman should be seeing each other. So, for that situation, you need to have a mechitz and a shul that clearly obstructs the view of the woman as a snasha. However, Rabbi Moshe Feinstein held that that's not the reason why there was a separation between men and women in the Beis Amikdash. The reason why they shouldn't have tarevis and shouldn't mingle. It wasn't that the Chama worried about seeing, they worried about mingling. So therefore he felt, he himself and his shul, and, and in Europe, shuls were with proper mechitzas. But when he came to the siding for certain shuls that felt that they needed to be lenient, because the shul was shaky, you know, and some shul, shuls might want to pull to be conservative, like it was in those years, and things like that, where there was always different issues. You know, Moshe held, you could be mekel, and a mechitza, has to be just to the height of five feet. Even though after five feet, you could, you could still see the person's head for a lot of people. Not an issue because as long as you can't mingle together and shake hands and feel comfortable like you're in one, one room, not a problem, even though you could see. So according to Ramay Shishita, the signs for an African mean have one being like five feet, one being at least six feet, like all the other the other other Paskin didn't agree with the sheet of uh, Ramayisha, you know, the Satmarav, the, the Babachar Rebbe, and other Litzvah didn't accept this Mahalich. They held that it was Mitam Re'iya, not that you can't see. They held it has to be at least six feet. But another example, another difference would be, according to Ramayisha, there wouldn't theoretically be a problem with the Mechit to be made out of glass, see-through, or plastic. Because it's not about seeing, it's about mingling. Unless there's error. Oh, so but however, according to our shita, it's not going to help. Lamaisa, Ramaisha himself clearly writes in every one of his chumas when he mentions his shita about mechitza. He clarifies that his shita is only a situation where the woman in that shul are dressed sneistic. Because if they aren't dressed sneistic, you have a problem where you're not allowed to dive in in front of what constitutes an erva, sar pisha erva, shaykh pisha erva. You're not allowed to dive in in front of women's uh, parts which are which are naked, which are open, behind and modest. What if they're behind the bed? Well, if they're up, it's the best thing is when they're up. They're behind. Well, if they are up, they're behind also. If you're not looking. Not
you're not looking down, you're facing forward, it's not as much of an issue. In, in, the, in the five towns of the shul, there are a few shuls where the women are up, and you, but when, once they stand up, the men are sitting down, they can see the women. Okay, so hey, you, you see it, you have to look I'll tell you, I'll tell you. The fee does. Even when you're not looking at it, if you're down and straight ahead, you can see over here. The long I have to look, I have to look up. They don't have, uh, they don't have they accidentally look closer. Right, but they don't have even a... Well, yeah, we can't talk where someone's back like going a, to look. That does not like mean you can go to the woman's game. side. Uh, you know, we're talking about uh, you see normal the situations. Yeah, and they have, I think... How we set up the shul. Even in the shul. How we do it. Even if you have an old paint, the sheets are not an issue, right? 100%, not an issue. Not an issue. But Mike says, it's interesting, I'll tell you the MS. All those shuls that you ch- use for Moshe's Mechitza, that I've seen, the women are not so Makhbin and Sneez. Exactly. So the only place where they could use for Moshe's Shita is in a Moshe Feinish's Shita, is only in Williamsburg, where none of them will ever think about using the Shita in Moshe's Shita. Because the Satmar Rebbe was fired against it. The Rebbe also was against it. According to Rebbe Moshe, he would say that you can use this the short Mechitza only if it's okay. Yeah, in a Hanami. He wouldn't have a problem if it would be a lower mechitza of five feet, not allowing mingling, but if it's opaque, because you can't see through in a place where it wasn't safe. Or, the balcony mechitzas are much better. Once the woman on the balcony, it solves a lot of issues. Because, for sure, according to the Moshe Shita, there's no mingling, right? And even if you don't go to Moshe Shita, a lot of these balconies in the shul are pretty high up there. Someone to look up, he asks as I give a look. We're not here to that. The point is that when he's davening normally, does he have to see women? Is that in his clear view or not? Lamaisek, see the shishuls, the litvish shishuls, I'm not going to allow that. We don't allow that also. Or machmer, and it has to be something that can't be seen, even if they're up there. Well, so I'm saying that those modern shuls, those big shuls you have in, in a lot of places, like you have uh, out of town and, and a lot of other places like that, that they have those type of You know, Lamaisek would be better if we better if at least they had. I had something that's not see-through, at least to, you know, well, they, they, you know, their feet, and they sit, you shouldn't see, so, you know, at least when they stand, it's just the upper part, whatever it is. But when I say, they say a joke, you know, the, the veld likes, likes the, 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 the sheet has been a little bit abused. You go to certain shuls, uh, you mentioned the five thousand, I've been to certain shuls where the mechitas are like, are like here, you know, this height. You have certain shuls that... There's no sheet that holds that way. There's no sheet that they're relying upon. This is a, it's not correct. It's a joke. It's a joke. So how do you dive in there? You can't dive in there. You can't dive in there. You can't, but we, we would not be able to dive in what there. What if the women are in the back behind the men? Maybe this, maybe it's different. Maybe there'll be a more, more of a chila. But my say, there was two things I'll tell you interesting that we have to get back to. It's a side that has nothing to do with these mechitzas, my son. But there was a, they say that Ramoisha Feinstein, the Sat Merov, Met each other at in a base oval. They both went to Menachem Oval. Some we said this last week. No, no, I heard this story. We went to Menachem Oval. Someone. So Moshe, people like to joke that Moshe's mechitza, not about separating. They like to joke. It's like the mechitza of Yutfachim. You know, you just have to make you just have to make a separation. So you just make a separation. Put up Yutfachim high. It's like a, you know, put a table and you're good to go. So the Satmar of met Moshe in a base oval. The Allah is ain't nice in shalom base oval. He has to give shalom. One another advice. That's not the place where we exchange greetings. So Ramaisa, the Moshe, the Satmarov gave his hand to Ramaisha in the base of said, Shalom, you know. They met each other. They fought each other on a lot of lach issues, but you know, they said hello. So Ramaisha said to him, Satmarov, ain't nice and Shalom a base of How do you give me Shalom? He said, In between me and you, there's a chair. According to your sheet, the chair is a mechitza. I'm not in a base of <laughs> Yeah, but it's not so sharp because there was only like, no, because there's only one chair. I don't think chair. it's a real story. Yeah, because there's only but one chair. But the but Satmar was very sharp. So why, why, why would it divide? Exactly, it's only more than one chair. It's not really true because it's just the way of making fun of Moshe. Those who want to make fun of Moshe Shita because Moshe yeah, Shita, Moshe never held, exactly. never exactly. held of a, of a tent fucking yeah, Moshe. Moshe held you have to have a pretty high Moshe. Never held of a tent fucking Moshe. Moshe held you have to have a pretty high Moshe. Not to allow handshaking or com- com- mingling, talking, and things like that. Frivolity, you know, getting close to each other during that. You mentioned the pop of Sukkot in the Sat Rebbe. that when he came to America, the uh, kosher poster signs were in the stores, you know, the butchers that say kosher poster in the flash. On of kosher poster says, this is the this is the poster. One minute it's kosher and the other minute it's poster. 
<laughs> anyway, actually, I know this. This will only apply to women, to women who are really sinua, not only in their dress but also in their action, action, their comportment. But according to sinua, we're dealing with such women. It's not really clear at all that you need a mafitza at all. No, no. no, I'll explain to you why, because the whole, the whole source of it is <coughs> in the Beit HaMikdash, in the Ezra Nashim. So, originally, they only had Nashim, Nibachum. Nibachum, and And then when they saw things were getting out of hand, they put the Nashim, Nibachum, and Nashim, Nibachum. But it doesn't say there was any Nafitza. Yeah, but only were... when they saw that then it was getting out of hand, then they made the balcony. <laughs> It was that. It was separate rooms. I'm not sure if separate no, areas. No, it doesn't say anything. Was what does "mibefnim machutz" mean? No, you yeah, see, so you had the women, the men, or rather the women just standing on the outside, and the women, men on the inside. And not only that, but you see, from many of the pictures of the hotel, the full, you know, when it was under Arab control, that the women who were very sonora were off on one side, and the men were off on the other side. Listen, you have a lot of situations when you're half a dava mincha in a mall or you're in an airplane. Kimuvan, this, this din of mechitza doesn't apply. It applies mainly to how a shul has to be set up. You're in a sheva brach exactly. in a house, exactly. something like that. It's Just whenever you kivea exactly. a proper mukin. You know what Amish not only says, and in Europe, he says every shul had an old lady, had a poor lady who used to sit inside the back of the shul and collect money for the stalker. There weren't a lot of davin because there was a lady. When there was they a num- always, when there was a number of ladies them. there, and it, 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 they started congregating, then it becomes an issue. You have someone over there and some people over there. They're not in the same area, Bukhlal. It's not pshat that oh, you're you're 100 feet away and you make a people are further away. Can move them. We're talking about when people are trying to daven near each other. You need to put up a mechitza and a makom kavul atfila. The way it is by then the kotel, it was probably didn't have the rights to make. Mechitza and different things yeah. like that. It was a Makam Arai, whatever it was, later on. They did build a, a Mechitza. I don't know what's going to be by the other section of the Kotel. <laughs> now, you're going to let us know about that. But, uh, no, that's a different story altogether. Yeah. That's well, nice, uh, the nicer. No, so let me finish talking about this thing. That uh, you say it has to do with the sh- only the shul, but can you show me any place at all in Rambam and Torah or Shulchan Aruch where it says this particular issue about the pizza? Chit is not mentioned in Shulchan Aruch. I know that. It's not mentioned in Shulchan Aruch. The only place where you see what I'm aware of it says anything about about this is is that when that in the Chagim, the the Beit Din has to send around uh, uh, officers to make sure that, like like in in, in the gardens, he says, not in the shuls, like in the gardens and in the parks, you have to understand, yeah, shuls yeah, typically were never a place of women. A lot of women shuls. never came, women bachlal typically didn't come to shul. Shul was an off place for women. Women didn't have daven. This whole thing in Europe, even already in, even earlier times, a lot of shuls didn't have any Ezra's Nashim. This wasn't all an issue. No, it's in Europe, the, when they had an Ezra's Nashim, Ezra's Nashim was so far out they could barely hear what was going on. A lot of places. The fact that we have our American style, where men and women are on the same floor, and we just have the 50-50, and there's a mechitz down the line, this didn't exist. It's a new, always a new concept in Europe. There are very few women that came to shul. A few rebbitzins, sadekasin, that they wanted to come. They, they weren't so accommodating for them because this wasn't like a major need. As women be- developed, and women went to yeshivas, women went to daven, and things like that, <laughs> it became a whole big thing where women want to come to shul, and sometimes you have more women than men to shul, so you know. And they're davening better than the men. And they're davening better than the men, so. Uh, that's, what, that's what they wanted better for the women. But in the Torah, the men were separate from the women. So it says hearing is like, like speaking, it's the same yeah. as speaking. Okay, I don't, I don't know the exact right. So, so they heard the word of a chef. It's the same as well, speaking the word of a chef. That was the original there. Yeah. yeah. No. In, uh, in, 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 okay. It's a foreign issue. So they have women. Separate as a nation. Not a woman. Yeah. Separate as a nation. Not only in modern. Like in modern. What do they have over there? What do they do? I'm not only talking about women coming to shoot. Right. Well, what do they do? They have a mechitza. Yeah, mechitza. But Bet Torah, for example, the mechitza was very low. Well, 
How was it in, 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 in Iraq, in those places? I wasn't. I know, but when you heard, <laughs> when you heard anything, how was it? Well, overall, in Israel, it was it's like in the it Spurred, oh, it's right. like in the Messiah and in these other places, they, they have separate, separate as, as an old machine. And they have a lot of women coming. Separate. Yeah. Yeah. Without 100%. Like women women are, out. women now, and you're it, women didn't dive in. Women didn't go to yeshiva. The women that daven, a lot of women today. couldn't read. They couldn't read Lashon Kodesh. They had special siddur called. And they had their farm They read Shana Re'ena, the Taich, like, told them over the parsha and the medrash. You know what? If a lot of men would read it Shana Re'ena, it would be Tamid Chachamim. They like Tamid Chachamim today. But I'm just saying is that there were learned. There were some women that were learned, but most women didn't. They they were yoytza davening by just saying Tvila. Uh, a bracha, maidani, whatever they were yaitza with, a small tefillah, yeah, even, though, even though Meikar had did. Once they went to this Yaakov, and Rambam. they were trained into Davin, so now the women are want to Davin, and they're running off. You know, the man says he has to go to Shul, she says, I have to go to Shul. Like, you, know. <laughs> you have women that Davin my rib, you know. So. Today the women tell the men, you watch the kids and I'll go to Shul. Maybe <laughs> you have but, uh, uh, very to make sure that you always so tell, tell her Davin. Who? That was very last. In Montreal? Yeah, it's bad. It's boring. It's boring. It's boring. Ah. Yeah, Alpi, Dinah, Shokhanarach. The main sheet is that women are chayiv, Davin, Shachar, Semincha. Without a minion, but the Davin, Shachar, Semincha. But in Maisa, the minig was not that way all along. In Europe, that was not the minig. They didn't even go to yeshivas. So there was no minig of women. A rabbit's in Davin. In America, when they went to the Siakos, and they went to schools, and they swift, and they were taught. Daven, the woman daven. Later on, after the women get married, they have a lot of children. It's not always easy for them to daven. So it's not it's not the same. There is sheetas that clearly hold that women are potter from davening and a yoitza tefillah by saying any type of tefillah or bracha, short tefillah or bracha, and that's it. They say a little brachas and it's enough. It's enough. There is a sheeta like that. The minig was that way, even though the ikar halacha, the majority opinion is not that way. The majority opinion is the woman is actually chayiv. This is clear in Shulchan Aruch. That's what, therefore, if, if a woman can't dive in, you shouldn't pressure her, because there's definitely what she can rely upon. A lot of women feel that they, you know, after the, 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 the household, there's a lot of things, they have to know, they have to take care of the children, that's more important. And sometimes if they can't, they can't. They can't, they can't. First comes the household, then if you have Yeah, because there's days that hold, and in Europe, that's how they all did. All the puppets didn't dive in. They all didn't dive in, and they... Out above is no one down. Is that a little feel, a little bracha, unless you're a Rebbe, your Rebbe's a family or a Bonisha family, they were taught how to read, to write, they could write letters and some of them taught themselves. Yeah, some of them very big uh Sadekasan. Yeah, that's from Shotan Arc. Ramoisha Feinstein, Ramoisha Feinstein, and you look and interesting, the Igris Moisha, the Igris Moisha, the last Khalik, Khalik Ches, came out after was Nifter. The family published their, his biography. And his biography, they start off saying how Moshe, when he was in Europe, when he was already a Rav in Europe, when his father was a Rav, he took over his father in that city of uh, Lubyan or something, Lubyan. 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 So, Moshe, at one point, you know, the Friede Kerebbe, the Lavit Kerebbe, called a, a meeting of Rabbanim together deal with different issues in Russia, the communism, and that. So they, he, he sent two shluchim to invite Ramosha. Ramosha in Europe was a big Tamil Chacham already, but Ramosha in Europe wasn't like he was later. In Europe there were, there were many great Tamil Chacham. Ramosha was from the many. He wasn't the God of he was younger. So but Ramosha was, they invited him to me. So he said, why are you coming to me? I'm not Chabad. Like, why am I being invited? So he said, don't you know that your El Tababa, your great grandmother, Learned with a tzemach tzedek in in, in cheder together. <laughs> He's like, what? This is what they write in the in the Gismaisha. If we have the cheder, like I can show you. He, and they say basically she was a very very smart girl. She was a mulamedas, and she wanted to learn more. So they had to you know entertain her. She wanted to learn more. She wasn't. She didn't want to sit at home just cooking and cleaning. She wanted to do more. Well, she was in cheder. She wasn't doing anything. She wasn't in cheder yet. There was no cheder for no, girls. She was that age. She wasn't, so they that some, they allowed her. The way they describe it there is that they allowed her to join 
the Tzemach Tzedek as a child in Cheder, there was the same Cheder, both boys. She sat in a corner, the boys were there, and she sat in a corner, she wanted to learn. She sat in Mezuz Nashim? She was in the corner of Mezuz she came and heard. That's what they write the story there. She was the one lady in the bag. It wasn't that way. Let's let's be honest. That wasn't that way. Wait a minute. The Rambam talks about it. In later generations, no. In later generations, no, but, but the Rambam played time and place. To, you see, the two, why would he have that to Shuba? Ashir, and maybe it was a Perki you know? Maybe it was a Perki Avashir in a house. I'm not saying they didn't learn at all. No, there were systematic yeshivas for girls. There was no systematic yeshivas and girls in Kalal Yisrael until Beisachar came about. Maybe there was one city you're going to find somewhere in city history. It was not, definitely not by the Sephardim. The Sephardim, the ladies for sure were not learning. And the only place where men start, women started to learn was by the Ashkenazim. There was no such a thing as school. You know what? There was no such thing as schools for men. There was only small little chadarlach for, for boys. And he went to one malamid in his house. He had the boys learn chumash. He wanted a malamid for mishnayis. A few boys gathered in another house. The concept of a chayda didn't even exist. The concept of having one place where we have classrooms and things like that was a modern thing that started much later. It was developments. Women, there was no girls, women going to any yeshivas. There were different women. There were, there were women that were tzitzis. There were women, they were very holy women. They were, they, they were big tzadikasin, you know. They weren't trying to make trouble. They, they were special people. They were was already at different level. Tzvillin was already different madrega. But the Gemara talks about how the wife of Ramea, Bruria, would give shiurim through a mechitza to, to the chachamim. I was once involved. Well, she couldn't by, sing. Uh, she was that. I was once involved by. Yeah. So they were selling the goodies. I don't know. They were selling the goodies. So the the wife of the the wife of the guy that won the show. What's his name? The old man is talking about the show. Rosenthal. Rosenthal. He's still there. She, still she, there. Yeah. She's still there. She's still there. They were looking for something bigger and they said the name and she's not very nice. Are you is she allowed to do that? <laughs> I'm telling you what happened. <laughs> she she didn't sing, said, she said it. <laughs> The Rebbe's mother the Rebbe's mother was a very big uh, very <laughs> big bomb in that No, she didn't publicly, but she knew she's very <laughs> musical. She liked to hear, she wanted the Hasidim to sing songs and when they would Sing it not correctly. She would motion the different parts that they should it's so sing it differently. They were the elder Hasidim would come two times a year to formally come to, and the Rebbe Zimeladis come to see her. So they had a whole group, and she would come, and they would say some stories there, things like that. So you know, sometimes she'd want to hear a certain nigan, and they would sing it. You know. so so they, 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 they would have, they would have out of fish. Yeah, they came to the visit. Uh, yeah, when I was learning the rabbi, what's this a sheep? I once asked that if women want to sing at, like at a Shabbos table or in a Savior, could you stop them? I told me no. At the Shabbat, they would say that the, the issue of Holy Shabbat, 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 I think it's more because the issue is immorally when you have family, you should family. When there's guests, you shouldn't. Another thing is sometimes... Well, the question is stopping someone is different than telling someone to start. You know, stopping someone... You're going to tell someone to stop. It's already a statement where you have to make a macho. The question is whether you have to make a chiv. You definitely should not encourage a lady to sing when there are other guests at the table, not family members. If it's just a family there, there's no problem. But the question is, if a lady does happen to have invited a guest and she starts to hum along and sing, do you have to start making the whole thing? There's a bunch of saw people singing together, it's not such a big deal. You have those shluchim, where in the base Chabad, where some of the ladies start to hum a little, so the shlichim starts to sing loud, you know? <laughs> uh, you have to think of nice diplomatic ways how to deal with it, just to make a, a, a protest in the middle of the suda is not the way so someone didn't realize someone made a mistake. It's not something to... You'll have to start stoning A her. woman allowed to sit right around the table? Not single. 
by the family, with the family. I have 30 people in my table, and a woman talk, and she has beautiful bottom. You can stop it. Can't people stop. learn from her. You can't stop. No, no. Don't don't try. Don't no, try. It's no, dangerous. Among the, among the <laughs> as long as she promises to write down a tradition of the shops. She wants three it. books. Flaky okay. Jack's yeah. wife. Uh, sister. I was one Flaky time Jack, in a house. Flaky Jackie. I was one time in a house where even though the husband was sitting in front, I'm it's telling you, he was not. He had nothing to do with running the show. <laughs> she said all the Divrei Torah. She ran the whole thing. He didn't say one word. <laughs> <laughs>